Hey, beautiful people, it's your friend Kevin. And, um, well, let's get on with this. This is your card of the day. <laughs> Right, my lovelies, before we get going, I want to welcome everybody to this space, new subscribers, new to the channel. You are welcome, welcome, welcome. We come on here every day, do a card of the day to inspire, enlighten and to heal people and just set them off on their right on their right foot or a good foot instead of the back foot. I'm using Angels and Auras Oracle Deck by Radley Valentin. Tyne and Dougal Frazier. I'm also using Angel Wisdom Tarot by Radley Valentine. Images for the wisdom of uh, the Angel Wisdom is Dan Craig, and illustrations for Angels and Auras is Ste uh, Brooke Stefanelli. So let's get that out of the way. Now, my isms today, based on how I was feeling, uh, the universe adores me. No matter what's going on, it adores me. At my worst, at my best, the universe just adores me. Uh, and then your affirmation, you need to say this every day. I am magnificent. I am magnificent. I am magnificent. There's nothing more important than my feeling of joy and happiness. I'm magnificent. Get with the program, people. Uh, <laughs> our card of the week is number 14, Solutions, also known as Temperance or Balance. Archangel Zadkiel is the archangel that comes with this card and the message is success that comes from objective compromise, finding balance, harmony, joy and happiness in some of the most challenging of places. This time of the year brings up all kinds of silliness uh, and there is sometimes uh, an opportunity for some unfettered forgiveness that perhaps has been lingering around. It's best to, you know what, bury the hatchet, have a glass of wine, a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, or a nice delicious dessert and just put the lid on it. Uh, I've already done my prayers. So let me go ahead and shuffle the um, Angel Wisdom Tarot. Here we go. Give me a card, give me a card, give me a card today. Give me a card, give me a card, give me a card, and show us the way. Give me a card, give me a card, give me a card, so that we can see that there is nothing stopping you or me. There we go. I think I'm going to take this one off the top. I'm not going to look at it right now. It feels like there's a three-card reading coming up out of this. Let me put those up. Here we go. Angels and always give me a card. Angels and always give me a card. Angel and always give me a card. Right now, give me a card. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And straight off the top with this one, we go. All right. There is no reason, particularly, why I chose to put the angels and auras as the left and the archangel, ta uh, the um, angel tarot in the middle, angel, wis angel wisdom tarot in the middle. There is just no reason. I believe these two cards are like hand in gloves. So let's get this one first. Let's get this one second. And let's read them all together as the message. Now, we got a number five, which is the five of water. So, and we have this, what looks like first quarter moon, which is exactly where we're at. Focusing on the negative. Things not turning out the way you anticipated. Forgiveness of self or others. Everything happens for a reason. Whoa, no do la la. Look for the hidden blessings. Now this tracks in this deck the number 16. So our minor arcana and the suit goes into the major arcana. And we see from this major arcana transformation which is number five, we are moving through something new. It's also governed by Archangel Shamuel. The eyes of God can help you see the changes that you have to make. He also offers a hint that it's time to make the changes right now. If you've been focusing on the, oh my goodness gracious me, can't deal with this, stop it. Now, We've got self-respect and worthiness and the color of looks like lavender and deep purple. Number three, five adds up to an eight. And the words on this card is angel, le uh, leader, 
brilliant, confident, worthy, beautiful, loved, queen, superstar, goes to I am magnificent. Now, I'm going to pull this card up because there's something up underneath it. Ooh, hello. What's it say under here? I am a spiritual heart warrior. Oh, hey, listen, this came up um, for me personally. When you give your heart to the places that mm, may be a bit bumpy, rocky, falling on, you know how you plant those seeds on barren land? When you give your heart to one that is maybe mm, challenging to get it to grow, to get that love to grow, you sort of have to remove the charge, remove the power, sort of like unplug it a bit. Um, Self-worth, affirmation, independence, motivation. These are the things that this card is asking you to do because you've been contemplating, how do I get into this transition and move forward? And the solution, which is finding the balance, this is finding the balance between the past, which usually shows us you know, where we haven't been taking care of ourselves, it's very difficult. Let me get back off this camera. Um, oh, Gertrude, hello. What do you got on today? Well, she's got. <laughs> okay, so Gertrude has got this is lovely. Okay, so. She's sort of got this Mad Hatter hat on. So it's a bit like, if you know the Queen of England, how she wore those top hats, she got one of those on. The interesting part about it is like a emerald green and white with these stripes around it. So it's a bit like a deck chair pattern. Okay, what is, oh, she has a, a, a fitted dress on. She's showing me her hourglass figure and she's showing me beauty. She's showing me opulence. She's showing me... Yep, she's showing, she is like walking down the runway like a catwalk walk model. Um, she's showing me this. Okay, Gertrude, what, okay, hang on. She's wanting to, she's wanting to um, show uh, brilliance. She's want, what are you wanting to show? The magnificence of who we are. That we can be anything we want to be anytime we want to be it. Uh, so if you feel like a fashion model, you should be a fashion model. If you feel like a diva, you should be a diva. You should not be compromising who you are and what you're worthy of, but for anyone or anything. It's exactly what she's saying today. Okay. Are we good? Yes, yeah, she's okay. Beatrice, do you have any any oh no, she's not saying too much. Uh she's contemplating. So I see a Beatrice rocking back and forth. And she's, her hand is like this. And she has a crystal ball in it. Okay. Uh, and she's looking into her crystal ball. And she, I think she's looking for, she's just rocking back and forth like this. Um, looking into this crystal ball. Um, oh, okay. She's saying, uh, look beyond the end of your nose and look into the future. Fast forward quickly into start she's saying start with january the 1st 2024 and jump over into march the 1st 2024 because she's saying what feel what seems like a week will be three months she is saying this next year is going to tumbleweed forward how you're going to stay uh, with your feet on the ground and your head up and your heart open, that's what you have to do. You have to be grounded with your heart wide open and your eyes straight forward. Uh, and the attitude of gratitude and grace must be the fuel that pushes you forward. If you are grounded, if you are in and around love, magnificent, uh, what's this thing? Nothing's more important than joy. If you're looking at things in an optimistic light and your eyes are up and forward, you are going to fly through. She's warning. It's a bit of a warning. Oh, no. She said, don't tell people it's a warning. All right. What am I saying then? You've got to change up the way you think and feel about anything that you've ever done before in your life. You have to know that everything works out as it's supposed to. And there is divine timing in all that we do. We can sit in procrastination. 
we can sit in the this makes no sense whatsoever because I've done that. Why would this happen? Why did this happen to me? How is this possible? I did A, B, C, D, E. This is not to do with what you've done, where you've been, how much effort you put in. What this is to do with is looking forward to the future and mapping it out with those three components. Being grounded, being heart open and filled with love, joy and happiness and having your eyes straightforward and I said does this mean you don't want people to keep on yes she said don't dig up the graves of the past let that dirt go oh okay we're right uh only because I think it's because things are going to amp up and go quick how many of you have suffered from insomnia hello how many of you have had bouts during the day during the week where there is absolutely no energy left whatsoever Hello. And then at the next moment, you feel like you could clean your house, the next person's house and the one house across the street. Yes. So these are all the downloads of getting us used to the vibration that this earth, the planet that we're on, is working through and to. OK. I'm asking if there's anything else I need to know about. This card of self-respect and worthiness. This has to do with, well, self-worth, affirmations, independent, motivated. You know, to bring um, abundance, all that kind of stuff in, the color of abundance is red. Christmas is red. Being independent means freeing yourself from the entrapments of not feeling good enough, not feeling worthy enough. And that shows up in really weird ways. It shows up in lack of self-confidence. It shows up in things that we hoped would happen that didn't. And we tend to have to, oh, here we go. Uh, mm. Think of the waters running. You can never cross a river with the same water. It's all running and it's all going. You can sit in sadness and doubt. You really can. And there is a place and a time to do it. And I think the divine, our angels, our ancestors, our spirit guides, let us have that because they're true and real feelings. The challenge if we don't get in there and we don't work it out we only have to do it again some other time i don't know why i'm saying all this being a spiritual heart war warrior being a light worker does mean that we have to stand in darkness if we're up for being light of others and up for being the light of joy and happiness we can certainly refill our bucket from the love and the happiness of our spiritual neighbors and friends and community, which was we're all doing here. That's fantastic. But at some point or another, we have to step out where other people don't have that. We have to be the example. And sometimes that can be heavy. And sometimes it can have us pouring ourselves out more and not taking enough reserves for ourselves because we battle with this idea of being selfish. We're born selfish. We're told not to be by somebody else. But we are born selfish. You know, we want to be changed, we scream. Somebody changes us. We want to be fed, we scream, and somebody feeds us. <laughs> we become the center of everybody's attention for a little while. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, other people are saying, hang on, what about me? <laughs> Wait, hang on, it's my turn, what about me? And I know, as adults, that happens. So people of the light want to give everything to everyone. Give to the ones you know you can help. Even the ones you know probably are beyond it. I would be looking at that. How can you help somebody? How are they helping themselves? There you go. All right, I think I'm getting a get off my soapbox. And um, say thank you to you. Um, I've been working with my web people. Oh, by the way, before I forget, I am available for private readings. I think what I'm also going to do is group readings, like get together with people, have a little powwow and throw some cards for people that have questions. That seems to work for some of my friends. 
Um, that'll be uh, a regular ongoing thing. I am going to do a free webinar about the myths and truths of what channeling is because uh, I have questions that come up about that. It has, and it's very, very simple. It was simple for me. Anything that's difficult, I'm not doing it. Oh, today's the number three day. Really quick. Gentle guidance. It works with the three of cups. Communicate with the masters. Uh, Jesus, Kuan Yen, Krishna, Mother Mary, Mary Magdalene. Uh, they're all masters. Saint Germain, all of them. The, um, who else? Who else can I think of? Oh, gosh. Gracious me. Um, I can't think of it right now. Be inspired. Get enthusiastic. And be confident. The other part is playful and joyful. Who doesn't want to be playful and joyful? I mean, really. Until tomorrow, lots of love. Bye for now.